Hello everybody, I'm forecaster Dustin Staples. Happy Saturday to you all. Hope you're doing well wherever you may find yourself on this cool morning again. It's going to be very short lived as we have some summer like temperatures moving in our forecast as we go later into time as well. Something else we're going to also notice not as much rainfall falling across much of eastern Carolina. We've been telling you how breezy it's been, how windy we've had. We've still had a lot of high winds reported as of Friday afternoon, 40 plus miles an hour gusts back towards of uh, the Cape Hatteras community Swan Quarter 46 was the highest report there in Jacksonville. Again, they actually had severe thunderstorm warnings that were issued uh, because of potential of high winds and also uh, the potential for some storms that move through overnight. But most of those are now gone and out of here as we are beginning to do so as well. Back right around six o'clock this morning, we had temperatures here in the 50s, dry airs in place, comfortable conditions for sure. We got those 40 degree dew points that are also at play. We can see we're about 10, if not 15 degrees cooler than we were yesterday right around the time of this early morning hour. But again, the radar is quiet here, which is good news here for us. We need to kind of quiet down after a very active week. It's been here across the south and even the northeast states are still dealing with winter. Winter just will not let go up to parts of the Great Lakes community extending back uh, to Vermont there where they're seeing at least a couple of inches of snow fall right there as well. Of course, we had those storm reports yesterday. We had several wind reports extending back from Carteret County, Duplin County, out Outside of Fayetteville there, just outside of central of the part of the Carolina states along I-73. So one thing for sure this past week has definitely been worth watching with severe weather when it has happened. Winds are coming in already out of the west northwest. We've got a few 30 mile plus gust across some of our hometowns out there today. This is going to continue to be with us. Winds out of the northwest 10 to 20 miles an hour. That is our trend here for much of the day. These winds will continue to be coming out of the west overnight. But look at this. Most of us are under 10 by tomorrow, and then we see light and calm winds continue into effect until Sunday afternoon when another push of winds move in our direction. This time we have a suddenly flow that's going to help those winds move out of the south and southwest, having our temperatures warming up throughout the week ahead. Now again, cool start this morning. That'll quickly burn off early on this afternoon to low 70s and a few clouds out there too. We may hang on to some 60s back towards the coastal areas. That's because those winds are going to keep the temperature is a little bit cooler than usually as you do see right there too. Quiet start for Sunday morning once we have a those temperatures in the mid 40s for a very uh, brief moment and then after that that looks like the last of the weather for a cool start for at least the next eight to 10 days anyway. Highs tomorrow getting up in the upper 70s and low 80s. Heading out to some baseball tomorrow or today. Actually, again, the first pitch there will be at 4 p.m. as they're playing as Charlotte yesterday. They had a nice victory win right there as well. 11-0 was the score. We'll see if we can do another win as we go towards this weekend. But again, your highs today, upper, upper 60s and low 70s with those breezes continuing. We'll hang on to the winds at least through Monday morning before the, another push of warm weather moves in. It's all affiliated with highs getting in the mid to upper 80s. We can't even roll the possibility of temperature is getting near 90 by the end of the week, but generally speaking, it's a quiet and warm week ahead.